This tutorial is brought to you by Envato Elements. Hello video creators, thanks for watching Storytium. Today I'm going to show you a super awesome feature inside Adobe After Effects. This feature is called Content Aware Fill and it's available in Adobe After Effects CC 2019 Spring Release and newer. This tool allows you to easily remove unwanted items or objects in your videos. You can simply select an object in your shot and then fill this with the content from the area around it. This is similar to the Content Aware Fill that is available in Photoshop, but this time it's for video in After Effects. Of course, this won't work flawlessly for every scenario, but in some cases it works perfectly, just like the examples that you watched in the intro of this video. Anyway, now it's time to move over to After Effects and show you how to use this awesome tool. Inside After Effects, I'm going to start by explaining the basics by using this example clip. The first thing that we're going to do is creating a simple mask. There are multiple ways to do this in After Effects, but I'm going to use the pen tool for this example. You can activate the pen tool by clicking this icon here or use the G key to activate it. And in this example clip, we're going to remove the woman walking on the beach. First, I'm going to draw a simple mask around her with the pen tool. And of course, I'll also include her shadow in the mask. And then if the mask is finished, we need to go to the mask properties and then set it to none. And this is just temporary so we can see what is going on around the mask. Next, I'm going to activate keyframes by clicking the stopwatch icon here. Then I'm going to move a couple of frames forward and reposition the mask where needed. And then repeat this same step a couple of times so the mask will be repositioned correctly during the entire duration of the clip. Of course, we could also do this with tracking, which I'll show you later on, but for now, this is good enough. As you can see, now the mask is moving along with the camera movement and also the movement of our subject. Now that we've made the mask and also animated the movement, it's time to set the mask to subtract. This will cut the mask out of the existing frame and create a big black hole. And we're going to fill this up by using the Content Aware Fill panel. In my setup, you can find this panel here on the right, but if you can't find it, then you might need to activate it first here in the window menu. So make sure that Content Aware Fill is enabled like this. Okay, back to the Content Aware Fill panel. The first control you'll find here is the Alpha Expansion slider. You can use this to increase or decrease the size of the area to fill. Sometimes it will give a better result if you expand the mask for a couple of pixels. Just like what I did with the example clip. I didn't make a very precise mask around our subject, but I also included some parts of the sand on the beach. So sometimes you could try to slightly increase the size of the mask if you're unhappy with the results. And then below the expansion slider, we've got the fill method options. Objects is mostly used for moving objects like the person in our example shot. And surface replaces the surface of an object, like a logo on a t-shirt or a sign on a building. And then we've also got Edge Blend. This blends the surrounding edge pixels. It's more like a quick and dirty way of content aware fill. So like I said for our example, we're going to use the Object option. Next you've got the option to select a range. You can choose between Entire Duration and Work Area. Entire Duration means the entire composition and Work Area means a selection of the composition. You can change the Work Area by changing the blue slider here on top of the timeline. And for this tutorial we're going to select Work Area because we only want to process the first part. Next we've got the option to create a reference frame. This can be done in Photoshop, which I'll show you later on in this tutorial, but for now we're going to skip this one, so this means I'm ready to click on Generate Fill Layer. And now After Effects will do its magic and start filling up the mask frame by frame. All depending on your project and the speed of your system, this can take a couple of minutes. You can see the progress here. Anyway, while we are waiting, I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Envato Elements. It doesn't matter if you create videos for a living or just for a hobby, you need to know about Envato Elements. And that's because they offer millions of high quality assets for your video projects, all within one single subscription. And this includes stock video, music and sound effects, fonts, video animation templates and much more. I've got my own paid subscription for a couple of years now and I still visit the website multiple times a week for many of my projects. So I can highly recommend you to give it a try. Please use the link in the description to check them out and also support my channel. Ok, processing is done and the black hole is gone. Let's do a side by side comparison and see the results that we've got so far. I think the results are pretty good for what we did in a few minutes. But if we do some pixel peeping, you can see some imperfections. 
In this part, if you look closely, you can see the outlines of the mask for example. One way to improve this is by simply adding mask feather. And to do this you need to go into the mask properties. You can increase the value for mask feather, not too much, but something like 25 will give a good result in most scenarios. Another way to improve this is by making reference frames. I'll show you how to do this with another example. Here we've got a shot of a beautiful landscape, but there's a cable hanging in the middle of the frame. Let me show you how I fixed this one and how I made it look like this. If I only do the steps that I did with the previous example, it will look like this. The clouds overall look good, beside the stripes here. But this part really looks like a mess. So let me show you how I fix this with the reference frames. First I'll move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and then move over to the content aware fill panel. And then click on create reference frame. And this will open up Photoshop with the single frame at the point of the playhead. We can now use Photoshop to manually create one frame to help After Effects determine how it should look. So in Photoshop I'm going to use some basic tools like the lasso tool to cut out the wire. Something like this will do. Selection complete, so now I'll go to Edit and then select Fill. Content where Fill is selected by default, so I'll click OK. Then I'll hit Ctrl plus D to deselect and we can see what we've got so far. This is already looking pretty good, but we can still improve this by using the Clone Stamp tool. Mainly this area might need some minor adjustments. So let's enable the Clone Stamp tool and then with the Alt key combined with the left mouse button select the area that you would like to copy. And then release the Alt key and only use the left mouse button to apply the clone. Now the texture of the grass is already looking a lot better, let's also do the mountains in the background. Of course we could spend a lot more time in perfecting this, but I think it's good enough for this tutorial. We can now simply close Photoshop and then save the frame. Back in After Effects we're going to do the same steps that we did before with the other example. I'll speed up some of the steps because you've already seen how to do them in this tutorial. First I'll select the video layer and then select the pen tool to create a mask. The mask is created and as I promised before I will now use the tracker inside After Effects to track the movement. And to do that we'll need to move over to the tracker panel and then hit this button to start tracking the movement of the mask. In the background After Effects is now tracking the movement and will adjust the position of the mask accordingly. If I open up the mask properties you can see at mask pad that After Effects created a lot of keyframes. Anyway, I'll set the mask back to none for now and then we can continue on tracking. Ok, the tracking is done for the work area, all keyframes are created and the mask is moving along with the camera movement. And for this one we'll also set the mask edge feather to 25 pixels. If I now set the mask to subtract, you can also see the effect of the edge feather. I'll zoom in so you can see it even better. And this edge feather can help to make the fill blend a lot better. Ok, so now it's time to move over to the Content Aware Fill panel and then click Generate Fill Layer. And now After Effects will do its processing. I'm going to speed it up so you can see the results. That also concludes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please like the video or leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.